I wonder if I'm living right. It's one of my first thoughts in the morning and one of my last at night. Now, not right in the way that it's commonly defined, but I wonder whether I'm living the life God had in mind or misaligned with that for which I was designed. See, I'm deathly afraid that when I make my final ascent, I just might be leaving this earth without ever having been present. Because if purpose is defined as a reason for existence, then it's quite possible in a sense. Regardless of the vital records in which your name was listed, if you neglect your purpose, maybe you never really existed. I wonder if you're a living right, or instead viewing things with human sight, questioning what it is God has called you to do because it's not that attractive to you. But suppose while you're sitting here trying to be sure, God's lined up millions of people waiting on a cure for cancer or AIDS that's locked in the recesses of your brain. Maybe there are some days and confused children that will remain that way until you take your place before them in a classroom. Presume there's some troubled teens and ex-cons who will assume that it's impossible to turn their lives around because you haven't shared how you were once lost but now found. While we like to claim that shunning our calling is a personal decision, maybe God has you and another one of his children on course for a head-on collision. And if you've wandered off the path you're supposed to be walking, maybe it's not just yours, but that other person's blessing that you're blocking. Just imagine what this world would be like had Jesus not done that for which he was sent. What if he did the math and figured it wasn't a good return on his investment? What if he decided he loved us but not quite to that extent? What if he determined the task a little too inconvenient? Or what if he had an extreme case of low self-esteem and deemed himself incapable of saving us all? What if he was simply too afraid to answer God's call? Now add on all your other excuses for not following your calling through, and then ask yourself whether the mind of Christ actually resides in you, whether you truly believe in sacrifice, or if, in theory, just sounds nice. I wonder if we're all living right, or if some of us are frozen in place because we don't know what to do, when there's so many ways to spend your time while waiting for God to tell you. See, Jesus was saving souls long before he hung on the cross, altering the lives of every person he came across. So suppose each person who blinks his God through our words or deeds is our purpose at that moment and God's way of planting seeds for the kingdom until it breathes a world of believers, dream conceivers, and spiritual overachievers. Now I hope you don't feel like I'm preaching to you because really, I'm just trying to work out my own salvation with fear and trembling, handing back my dying dreams to God for resuscitation. And for those he chooses not to revive, I'm asking him for the strength I need to perform their creation. See, I have a feeling that what you get out of this piece is secondary, but that the primary purpose of this poem is to remind me of the cross that I have to carry. See, only God knows the number of hearts that would have been touched by the things I chose not to write or burdens possibly lifted had I stepped up at an open mic. And then maybe the byproduct of this spiritual alarm clock is to jolt a person in this congregation to revolt against spirits of doubt, apathy, and fear, to encourage you to persevere, to remind you that our first calling is always to give God praise and glory, to suggest that you make him the leading man in your life story. Don't you wonder if you're living right? Open your arms and embrace the purpose God's ordained for your life because he stretched his arms wide for you, endured stripes and strife. Just know you'll be called to give an account when it's all said and done. And as for me, I'd rather not have a lengthy list of things I've almost begun. Please, keep going, no matter how unlikely it seems, because if you chase God, you can't help but to catch your dreams. Amen.